Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, in today's video, we're going to give you our top 25 tips that every first time Virgin Voyager cruiser should know. Listen, are you about to go on your first Virgin Voyages cruise? In this video, we're going to give you the top tips and tricks and some of the things that's going to make your life yeah, a whole my, lot easier yeah. going upon your first Virgin Voyages cruise. We might have a couple of bonuses at the end. Y'all just going to have to stay tuned and wait for it. You ready for it? Let's go. Tip number one, when reserving your dining, please keep in mind that on embarkation day, do not reserve any dining before 7 p.m. Yes. Listen, learn from the mistakes of yeah. our ways. <laughs> our first cruise, we picked 6.30 as our embarkation dining slot. We missed sail away. Yep. Because sail away is between 6 and 6.30. It really gets the popping at 6.30. So that's when we had to leave to go to our dinner reservation. And we missed the free champagne, Free man. champagne. We've uh. missed the introduction of the cast. Yeah. So on our next cruise, which is in a few weeks, we know that 7 p.m. or 7.30 p.m. is our embarkation dinner reservations. Yep. But don't fret. There's food all over the ship. So yeah. you're not going to go hungry right, right. before that time. Exactly. We just didn't know. <laughs> Tip number two for the first time Virgin Voyages Cruiser is just know if you book in the Central Sea Terrace that those rooms are quite unspacious if that's a word that's not a word <laughs> but i'm just gonna make your word up it's right tight in there so please pack accordingly one advice we would give you is to bring a organizer that you can put Go over the, the door. door in the bathroom right because what ended up happening was because the bathroom is so small in there mm -hmm. we couldn't be in there at the same time <laughs> and you can't even you right. being in there by yourself you could not spread your right. things out so it just took so much longer right. to get ready because I couldn't even spread out makeup. It's yeah. so tight. So I had to end up getting ready over in the closet. Yeah, so yeah. I had to open up the door in the full length mirror. So I had to use that to brush my teeth, you know, get my beard right and all that. So we recommend that you go ahead and get the extra large sea terrace because that actually has a bigger bathroom. So we're gonna have a bigger one when we yeah, go nice. on our next cruise. So that at least we can be able to try it out and we've seen a lot of videos on it too. Yeah. Yeah. Bathroom is way better. Yeah. So yeah, just know it's probably going to, if you don't upgrade, it's going to frustrate your purpose. And also yeah. not just the central sea terrace, all of the sea terraces except the extra large sea terrace. Yeah. You will still have that same layout and them restrictions in the bathroom. Right. Tip number three, until they fix this on the app, they said it's coming and I hope it hurry up and comes. You can view the events that they're going to have, but until you get on board, you can't actually secure yeah. the events. So as soon as you get on board, book your events yeah because they book up fast yeah they book up fast <laughs> and in my case since i'm a travel agent i was able to book them on the app as soon as i was able to board but i heard i'm not completely sure that if you're not an agent or something like that or in one of the suites you have to actually go to guest services and get yeah. them to do it so my advice would be when you get to the terminal go ahead and click into their wi-fi yeah immediately it's called the mermaid or something like that log into their wi-fi mm -hmm. then go ahead and do it while you're sitting there if you can if you can't soon as you step foot on board if you saw our embarkation video right. you will see that everybody was making that hard right they yeah. already knew Yep. Do the hard <laughs> right, stand in line, get your events squared away, and that way you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the voyage. Exactly. Tip number four, guys. We highly recommend these dining spots when you get on board. The first right. one will be Gumbe. Oh, I thought you were going to say my favorite pig of Gumbe. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to get there. You will get there. I'm going to get there. All right. So these are not in order of favorites. It's just the ones we want y'all to, to try out. Gumbe is number one. The atmosphere is everything. It if you, is everything. If you saw our vlog, you see that they was playing like the Method 90s. Man yeah, and... Method Man, the 90s music. So it was great. It's a great icebreaker. Yeah. And gets you social with other people as yeah. well. Because it is a social circle right. around the table. Then also the next would be Pink Agave, which is the Mexican restaurant because the steak and that corn is everything. It is not a game. No. All right, y'all, we got our steak. Man, she smells amazing. I think that's going to change your whole life. All 
of it is good. It is good. Yeah, the next thing would be is to go to the pizza place and to get the white pie piece. And I'm telling you. Yeah, I think it's, it's called Pretty Fine for yeah, White Pie or yeah. something like that. You just gonna see in parentheses, it's gonna say white pie. You're gonna know that's the right one. <laughs> <laughs> pretty fly for a white pie, that's it. Yeah, it is so good. So you wanna try that. The next thing that you wanna try is the wing. The what now? The wing! Delicious. They're at the social club. Yeah, at the social club. And then along with that, over at the social club, they have hot dogs. That's the name of Philly Steaks. I know it sounds kind of weird. It look weird too. So the good. hot dog has Philly toppings on it. Philly steak and cheese toppings on it. Mm -hmm. Got our wings. That's a Philly. Mm. But it's a Philly hot dog. <laughs> Interesting, right? Yeah. Bro. It is delicious. And that's also at the social club mm -hmm. as well. The next restaurant we want you guys to try is Extra Virgin, which is their Italian restaurant. The food was so good. I can't even remember the name of my dish. Yeah, something with squid yeah, in it. Yeah, some squid in it. Um, You had the prosciutto, and uh, that's, that's the, the name of it. And yes. then you had the... Uh, everything was good. Yes, everything. But I was so mad that night, I really didn't have an appetite that night, so yeah. I could, really couldn't get We were really it. snacking that day. Yeah, but the food was excellent. So yeah, try out Extra Virgin. Also, we want you to try try out the wake at breakfast. We did the wake for dinner. It was it was okay for us, but the wake for breakfast man them eggs that steak though and that got no french toast. Yeah, yeah. So, That's a perfect send off to yes. you just going home. Yes. Getting on the plane nice and full and nice and happy. Here's my steak and eggs. We rolled up on some more of that french toast and the queen got the same thing. Yeah. Yes, it was so good. It was so good. And to lead into the next thing is make sure that you get the room service breakfast. I agree. Because the French toast, the eggs, the potatoes, the hey, bacon, the bacon. I'll tell y'all the bacon. I'm telling you the bacon. They have the really good bacon. everything, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If, uh, and for the room service, like the experience of how they do room service is just like, whoa, yeah. what's up? Yeah. Coffee and thermos. And, yeah. I mean, it's an experience. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. And lastly... It's the ice cream. The presentation of the ice cream is everything. It is. Yeah. It is. It's, it's good. Good. And lastly, keep in mind that, um, and we glad that Virgin does this, is that they have what they call a waiting line. So if you've already been to a restaurant already, you can't actually book it twice. Right. So that gives everybody else an opportunity to try out the restaurant if you know why they're on that sailing so keep that in mind that if you want to do something twice you have to wait in what they call the waiting line and what i saw maybe 10 minute wait yeah People and, then if, and then if something wait. comes available they'll, they'll let you, you they'll they'll seat you and let you in tip number five stick to your embarkation time Listen, yeah yeah man they have a well-oiled machine and it's because there's no exceptions to their rules if your embarkation time is at 1.30 and you show up at 9.30, you're just going to be waiting in that line that says 1.30 embarkation until it's time for you to go ahead and go in and do your check-in process. Mm -hmm. They do not play with it. What they will allow you to do is, I think beginning at like 8.30, 8.45, you can drop your luggage off yeah. at the curb and then you can shuttle over to Bayside or any of the other places in Miami and hang out until it's that time. But until it's your time, right. don't show up right. early. The only people that have exception to being able to get on early is those that have booked into a suite yep. or those that have purchased one of the enhanced packages. At this very moment, it's called Splash of Romance. Romance. Yeah. It could be something totally different when you go to book. But right now, if you book that package, which is an enhancement, to your cruise fare, yeah. you're able to go ahead and go through an enhanced boarding process, which yeah. means basically you're not VIP, right. but you get to go before the earlier embarkation time slot. So those are the only exceptions. Don't come because you will wait and they're not even, go they, they might give you some water, but I don't think they're going to give you no water. They're not going to feel sorry for you because they're, they're not going to let you flow in. Yeah. Tip number six for the first time Virgin Voyages Cruiser. Mm -hmm. Here is some entertainment that we would recommend to you Holly. to try when you get on. But there's a lot of entertainment, but these are the ones we recommended. The mm -hmm. first one would be karaoke. Karaoke is insane. We <laughs> had so much fun. So first... We did, when we was on the last cruise, we did karaoke, just me and the queen. You saw the vlogs, mm -hmm. you know, it was an epic fail, but epic fun. Yeah. Right. It's supposed to be epic fail. Yeah. <laughs> I'm mad that you can't oh, read. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so we had so much fun. And then the next day we met Jules and Denise and another couple as well we met. I can't remember their names. Yeah. And we went back in and we had karaoke <laughs> again. And it just went to a whole nother level. So and we, then before we left. Yeah, we did it us, again. We, we did it again. again. Us four did it <laughs> yeah. again. It was so much fun. But they also have a social hour where like the entire ship can get in on the karaoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we missed that. But we had the private sessions. Insane. And it's included. Yeah. People are asking that question. It's included. The next thing we will recommend is the Never Sleep Alone show. <laughs> like we told you guys in the vlog, you haven't seen the vlog, you would, you can see a little bit of it. You see a little bit of it right here. It's what you think, and it's not what you think. But it is. But it is what you think, but, but it's, it's not. It is very fun. So when you walk in, they're going to ask you what is your level of adventure. adventure. So just know anything closer to 10, I'm going to say that, you're going to be on the front. You're going to be on the front. So the further you go back on the scale, further back to one, they're going to put you back further. I say stay at about a six or a seven. Yeah. It gets you close enough. It gets you close enough so you can see. But not on the floor, so you're not going to get But we calls. can't guarantee that they're not going to call you at a six or a seven. <laughs> but it's fun. It is fun. The next thing that we recommend is the puzzle competition. That was so much fun. We wish we could have recorded it more, but of course, we can't put a puzzle together and record it at the same time. Yeah, and then you try to be but, mindful of it. Right. People too. It was hella intense, but I had a ball. Yeah. It was, <laughs> so definitely, if they have that on the um, Vigilant Lady, did I say that right? Value Lady. <laughs> Next month, I definitely want to do that again. <laughs> yeah, I, had, uh, yeah. <laughs> I felt it coming. Cause he been calling this the vigilant lady. Yeah, yeah. But y'all know me. I'm a, I'm gonna mess it up. I might not be able to say it right, but I'm gonna tell it to you right. If that makes sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> the next day that uh, <laughs> we want you guys to try out is Scarlet Night. Where the whole ship becomes red, everybody put on their good get up and be grown and sexy out there on the water. Yeah. And I'm telling you, the pool party. <laughs> it's insane. I partied so hard that I forgot where I was. I was just like, I was gone. <laughs> but it's going to be a lot to see there. I'm going to let you know. It's yeah. going to be a lot to see there. I'm not going into any detail, but it's a lot. Did he, yeah, I just, think you need to go yeah. into detail because there's so many speculations going on. And we had this conversation on board because right. we all walked right. into this not knowing what that experience was going to be. And we still don't even know what Scarlet we Night still is. Don't we don't know, what, know what, what it is. is. But a lot of people that look like us, that was our age, they were like, you know, we got on and we were looking for like this overly sexualized, charged atmosphere mm -hmm. because this is what we heard. And we all came to the conclusion that every time you hear adult. the word adult only, only. Yep. immediately mm -hmm. you go into this overly sexualized, free for all mm -hmm. kind of right. atmosphere. And none of us experience that. Will we say that that kind of thing does happen? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure it's it's on there. Have y'all checked out like yeah. the stuff that goes on on Carnival? Like yeah, yeah, that it happens, happens on Carnival? Yeah. everywhere. It happens with the kids on board. It happens without. The only like we talked about this too. The only place that we know that actually advertises that like is Temptation, Temptation Resorts. Yeah, yeah. So you already know that's a highly sexually charged atmosphere before you go. Yeah, but <laughs> but here I didn't see yeah like the real facts. We either saw couples mm -hmm. or we saw singles, like just getting it in, having mm -hmm. a good time. Not getting it in like that, but, but like having it. Yeah. It was yeah. all fun. Like I never saw. Now would you? We did see like skippy bikinis mm -hmm. on men and women. Yeah, like you you would yeah, see you things see that. like that because yeah. they don't have to have discretion. Because the kids ain't because going. there's no kids on board. But other than that, we didn't see anything. Like real fact, like I told you, I was hoping to see something, <laughs> but you didn't see. Nothing. But I didn't see nothing. <laughs> Cause I like to see people working. So you was out there like this. <laughs> I like to see people move. I'm a people watcher. I like to see people in their element. You know, none of it. Like, um, but like I said, not to so, say yeah. that it doesn't happen. So but, at Scarlet Night, you. But gonna, it's not for the proof. Right. So at Scarlet Night, you're gonna see a lot of dancing. It's gonna be shows. You're gonna see eye, eye, glowing eyeballs, a big old octopus. People gonna be <laughs> yeah. back flipping in the pool. That's people a lot. gonna be lit, be drunk. I mean, you're gonna see a you're little. You're gonna bit. see everything. So you're gonna I, see thugs. You're gonna yeah, see yeah. LGBTQIA community. Oh, like you're, you're gonna, gonna see, see you're gonna see everybody. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I recommend to take a look at it from upper deck so you can yeah. <laughs> get a look at like what's going on and then come back down on the lower deck they were deck and get it in i'm telling you yeah like even us we yeah. we started in the back yeah because we were like we gotta feel this like what is going <laughs> on here like it's a lot to take in at one time then the next thing you know we're standing on the side of the pool like yeah, just uh, getting uh, it in uh, like, uh, and uh, then they turned uh. on to the reggae and yep. i was like whoa wait a yeah, minute yeah it, it got intense it, it was, is would i do it again i might have to bow out early because they're not gonna kill me because <laughs> i'm telling you <laughs> And then after Scarlet Night, it's the club. And the club just... It's an extension. Yeah, it just continues. Yeah, we was in there, yeah. I have a picture of my husband that I can't show. He couldn't even fully get undressed because he was so tired. Yeah. He was sitting in the chair with his with his button up on it <laughs> and his boxes because he couldn't get I was he was just like I'll tell y'all man, Scarlet what the Night, heck yeah. <laughs> Supercharged atmosphere. Yeah, super. Tip number seven. Study the app. Like as yeah, soon as man. you get your booking reservation number, start going into the app and really studying it. If yeah. they have the events lined up, look at them. Read about what they entail. Because as you know, Virgin Voyages is a new cruise line to a lot of us. Right. So a lot of the things that they have on board is just so different yeah. that you have no idea what they are. Read up on it. Look at the different things that they have on board. Right. Look at the <clears throat> restaurants. Look at the menus. All of that stuff is on the app. So you can start to get a footing and a feel how things are. Also do it for the sake of... We learned that the app is very segmented. Yeah, very segmented. So you will go somewhere looking for food thinking that, okay, restaurants, restaurant, restaurant. There are other places where you will find food within the yeah, same app. Right. And I'm like, why don't you just put them in the same place? Yeah. Just please study the app and read it. And when you're on board, they're going to send you messages. Yeah. Read those. They have good little nuggets in it. It even yeah. tells you on disembarkation day, the best time to get off if you don't want to run into crowds. Right. And do the survey. Exactly. Yeah, because you don't want to be like we were on day one, like trying to learn that app. It was like so frustrating. It was frustrating. Yeah, so I wish that we did start at home first. So yeah, I'm telling you, study it because if not, it's going to be a level of frustration. Yeah. yeah. And also be patient with the app. We <laughs> learned that while we were docked in Miami, the service was very like in and out, in and out yeah. on the app. And I think it was competing with your cell service, that... The then city. what was going on? But as soon as we sailed out, the app became flawless. Seamless, yeah. It was seamless. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Tip number eight for the first time Virgin Voyages Cruiser. And this one is a good one. We yeah, actually yeah. learned this tip from one of the waitresses service. at Razzle Dazzle. She was like, versus trying to depend on that app to find out what the events is going on, like we told y'all, it's all segmented. She said, go to guest services. They do a printout every single day. It's my easier. And she was so right. It's like a menu. Like, right. you just look at everything overall. All in one. And it, it highlights all the most popular, the best things that are... Mm -hmm. It's not everything that's going on, but it's majority of what's going on. Yeah. It's on that it paper. made it so much easier. Yeah, it did. It made it so much easier. And that's at guest services to get the paper. And you can also ask your room attendant to put one out yes. for you every day. Yes. Because once he saw it in our room, yeah. he began to put them in our room for us. Yes. So that was good. All right. If you have enjoyed this video, you will want to check out this video next when we did the review of the Scarlet Lady. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.